Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Professor. How do you do? Very good, thank you. What about you? How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Resting okay. right now. Well, ready for my classes. Okay, excellent. Okay, did uh, did you finish the platform? Uh, at least maybe section two. Yes. Yeah, I did section two yesterday at nine. Yes. Yes. 2.7, I guess. Okay. I was working uh, yesterday, but I did some work at almost at midnight. Ah, okay. Nice. No problem. Okay. We have time, so you can do it whenever we want. Okay. So, eh, ahora vamos a ver eh, casi la, eh, la mayor parte de la sección 2 ahorita en esta clase. So, okay. All right. Very good. Okay, excellent. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay. Uh, we have here today, let, let me put in the chat here, lo que vamos a hacer. Top. Okay. The topic is comparatives. All right, very good. The topic is comparative. I put embedding in chat now. I'm going to put the topics, eh, los, los subtópicos que vamos a ver. Okay, number one, uh, comparatives with adjectives. Okay, ese va a ser primero. Este lo vimos ayer, comparatives with adjectives. Okay, another one that we're going to see is comparatives with nouns. Nouns. Like when I guess a noun, a person, a place, or a thing. A noun. And number three is comparatives with verbs. Comparatives with verbs. And number four, comparatives with a past, past participle. Very good. Past participle. All right, it's done. Uh, comparatives with past participle. So, hay cuatro comparatives que nosotros tenemos que manejar para esta sección dos. Comparatives with adjectives, comparative with nouns, comparatives with verbs, and comparative with past participles. Uh, comparatives with adjectives and nouns, los primeros dos ya lo vimos. Ayer lo vimos. Pero lo, voy, lo vamos a repasar aquí para introducirlos y Y, y agregarlos y hacer como una, una sola lección de los cuatro. Ok. So, let me share my computer with you. Ok. What I'm talking about. Let me show you. Um, comparatives with adjectives. Ok. Bueno. So, eh, el vocabulario y las estructuras es igual para los cuatro. So, la estructura que vamos a usar es esto, comparison structures. We're going to use more than, less than, better than, worse than, as, or as, not as, and as. Okay. Ya la vamos a poner junto todo. Okay. So, remember this. Comparison with adjectives and nouns. Okay. Remember this. Uh, this is the same structures that are in, in all videos. Uh, el primer video cubre las primeras dos y el segundo video cubre las otras dos. All right, very good. So the vocabulary that we can use, uh, you can use, for example, adjectives and nouns. Aquí. Adjectives, you can say stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy interesting, dangerous, okay? And uh, nouns that you can use are, for example, hours, education, work, a noun. Now, with yesterday, eh, no sé si algunos estuvieron en la clase ayer, ¿se acuerdan? Comparamos algunas eh, eh, profesiones, oficios. For example, you say, you can say a lawyer's uh, no, you can say, for example, working as a lawyer is more stressful than 
working as a mechanic. Una opinión, right? Cada quien puede tener diferentes opiniones. Working as a lawyer can be more stressful than working as a mechanic. Okay? So, aquí está el, el ejemplo. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe? Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Okay? So, ¿qué es lo que tengo? Tengo la estructura more than, pero en medio de esa estructura yo tengo un adjective, un adjetivo. Eh, para el otro que vamos a ver, el número dos, es nouns. La regla es igual, no cambia, sino que en vez de un calificativo voy a poner un noun. Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Yeah, or maybe you have a different opinion. You can say working as a mechanic is more stressful than working as a lawyer. Uh, or maybe you can use a negative. Working as a lawyer is not as stressful as working as a mechanic. What is the structure? Comparativo más calificativo más comparativo. Eh, aquí puedo, en vez de calificativo, puedo poner now también. Ya vamos a ver esto. Okay. Questions? Preguntas hasta acá? Okay, let's go to the next section. So we did some practice, right? We talked about different jobs. Uh, we said working as a gardener is harder than working as a receptionist. Okay? Requiere más esfuerzo físico. So you can say working as a gardener is harder than working as a receptionist. Okay? It's only your opinion. Um, then we did another example. For example, we did the word dangerous. We used the adjective dangerous and we said working as a fireman is more dangerous than working as a doctor. Okay? Or maybe you have a different opinion, right? Now, con el coronavirus, maybe working as a doctor is more dangerous than working as a fireman. So we did it, different examples, and then we talked about, uh, hicimos una dinámica, or, eh, tenían que elegir dos eh, profesiones and then compare, just like I did in the example. Okay, the next one, so I said the primero, right? This is number two, comparing with nouns. Uh, you can say, for example, a doctor has more education than a fireman. It's my opinion, right? No. Simplemente una opinión. Um, so, here, education is a noun. Ya no estoy usando calificativo, sino que estoy usando noun. Pero la estructura no ha cambiado. It's the same. Okay? Questions for number two? ¿Todos están aquí? Hasta aquí, ya? Yeah? It's okay, teacher. Very good. Okay, so let's go to the let's go watch the video for the next one. Uh, the next section, which is comparatives with verbs and comparatives with past participle. So let me go there now. Um es este, es dos puntos, si no me equivoco. Uh, 2.7 es el video. So let's watch that video. And algunos tal vez ya lo vieron. Pero yo no lo he explicado aquí en esta clase. So esto va a ser nuevo acá. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following. A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. 
and let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns, so we're going to put uh, we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more. Okay. Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases is um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer you can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see right um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer. We're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right? So we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse. And uh, literally, we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb paid. Okay, very good. I'm going to stop the video because I think that you understand, okay, the, the main sections, all right? So, uh, aquí, El instructor nos mostró eh, ejemplos con el verbo y ejemplos con el past participle. Now, um, otro ejemplo que yo qui quiero poner con el past participle, okay? Let me, let me just do it here. For example, I can say a doctor is more educated. Ahí estoy usando el past participle, educated in the past, than a mechanic. Right. 
a doctor is more educated than the mechanic. Eh, en lo que va de diploma, o, eh, you know, eh, you know, diploma that, that they have. Okay, can you hear me better? Okay. So this is another example that I want to do. A doctor is more educated than the mechanic. Eh? Here I use educated, past participle, okay? Now, ¿cuál es la dinámica que vamos a hacer? Eh, I send you a picture in WhatsApp. Can you go to, go to WhatsApp if you can? And hay una foto que les mandé where you have uh, some examples. So, lo que yo quiero es que hagan tres comparaciones y en cada comparación van a usar comparative adjectives, nouns, verbs, and past participles. Okay? Number one, for example, we have a, a teacher versus a police officer. What can you compare? Uh, remember, to uh, they can be in the present or in the in negative or whatever. Um, and then a construction worker and a dentist. What can you tell me? And a businessman. A businessman es como aquí decimos un empresario versus a mechanic. So you can use, uh, you're going to use one of each. Okay? One of each. So vamos a trabajar en grupo de... de uh, Somos 18. Let me see. We can go in groups of uh, eh, grupos de tres y cuatro, okay? And we're going to complete that exercise, okay? Eh, pueden escribir eh, algo que sirve que si una persona tiene una laptop o tiene una computadora, ellos pueden compartir su pantalla. Y, y puede estar escribiendo los ejemplos en los que todos participan. All right, let's go to the groups. Okay, go to the groups, please. How are you? Hey, good night. Hi, Stefan. Okay. Somebody has a computer to share the, the screen. I have a computer. Okay, I have a computer. Let me show you my screen. Can you see? Yes, yes. Okay. I already wrote uh, uh, the list of what we have to do. So I don't know who wants to start. Uh, comparative adjective, no. Um, if you want, I can start. Um, okay, let's, let's working go. as a police officer is dangerous. Um, working 
as a teacher. Okay, very good. ¿Qué, qué, fal qué falta allí? Oh, ah, sorry, it's more dangerous. Sorry. Yes, yes, very good. Who wants to go next? Mm. So, aquí lo, lo que van a usar es usar un pueden usar la misma estructura que en el primer ejemplo o una estructura similar. Y lo único que van a cambiar es la palabra dangerous. You're going to change it. Change it to what? Change it to a noun. Okay. Maybe working as a police officer is more more or working as a police officer is uh, better better no no porque better is un is un comparativo de good yes. so uh, think about um uh, también podemos usar has for example working uh oh you can say a police officer has more blank than a teacher. Has more? Has more. Y, ahí, y después le ponen un noun. Uh, mm -hmm. work, uh, a police officer has more blank than a teacher. More, sorry, more, more teacher. Ah, more. pero es que, es que puse blank. Es que no quiero darle el journal noun. <ríe> no le quiero dar la respuesta completa. Por eso ah, puse okay. blank. Blank, simplemente como un espacio para que usted lo llene. So, eh, the, a police officer has... Ok, le voy a dar un ejemplo, pero no copié mi ejemplo. Tienen que hacer uno de ustedes. A police officer has longer hours than a teacher. Or you can say a police officer works longer hours than a teacher. Okay. A police officer, ah, pero no, cop no copen mi ejemplo. No, <laughs> ustedes tienen que tener un <laughs> propio. Solo lo dejé para. Sí, está bien. Que ahí, pero vamos a hacer otro. A police officer works con una S, works Sorry. longer hours than a teacher. Um, you can say a police officer has more blank than a teacher. Okay. Well, we can say Working as a police officer is more sacrificed than yeah. working sacrifice like uh, than working as a, a teacher. Yes, yes, you can say uh, sacrificing. Sacrificing. Okay. Very good. All right. Very good. And then this one. You can use uh, a verb, and let me give you Thing. 
But in this case, we have with the bear before the, the for more. So I think it's. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to here. Is. I'm not sure. I think we have the examples in the platform. I don't know if you can share the screen or the platform. Give me a minute. Ok, eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp puse los ejemplos que estaban en el video de verbs and, and past participles. So, you can see the picture there in WhatsApp so that you can have a, an idea. Sí. Next. Three is me. Uh, for example, a doctor, a dentist, sorry, uh, earn more than a worker, construction, construction worker. More than a construction worker. Mm -hmm. More. More, more than money. More money than earn much social earn much money earns much. more earns much more. much, much. Uh -huh. earn much money no not much more 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 yes yes more money remember you're comparing two things more than more than more money than a construction worker okay. thank you the okay. next next glad uh, yeah construction worker mm, works more hours than a dentist mm -hmm. Okay, the next is businessman versus mechanic. 
comparative adjective. Uh, a businessman has more benefits than a mechanic. Yes, okay. Okay, who is the next comparative noun? Comparative nouns, okay. You can use the same example, the same example that Abner used, only that okay. you're going to change the adjective, change it into a noun. Okay, with noun. Uh, okay. Uh, a business a businessman has better hours than a mechanic. Okay, good. Yes, very good. As much as a teacher, but that's okay. the example of a teacher, so we can change the bear. Mm -hmm. We can change the bear. Um maybe I, I I guess the thing with this uh, was that this way this was a way to say that, but uh, the last uh, no me acuerdo cómo se dice oración. Este, uh, ah, sorry, the last sentences sentence uh, is the example of what we have to do. That is the last the comparative past participle. Yes, the, the the last sentence that he put in the in the chat. Yeah, the okay. the, the ones that said a doctor is better paid than a nurse, right? But, but we yes. have a good a, a good Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's what I I was saying. That oh, sorry, keep going. Yeah, no, no, that's that's okay. It said past participle, so. Uh, a teacher is better educated than the police, is more educated than the police officer, okay? That, that's, that's a good example. Mm -hmm. uh, we should use better or more? Is more educated. Okay. De, de hecho, las dos encajan, pero for, to use the same comparison, more than. Okay. Okay, and then you can say also um, a, a teacher is let me see a teacher is more y aquí tenemos que usar otro uh, a past participle more educated more and it's difficult right <laughs> i was thinking about is less paid than a police officer i guess yeah you can say is less paid so uh, in the more you can use less, less, less pay. Now, honestly, the one that we use the most is the adjectives. And que se va a usar más. Okay. Adjectives. Do we With have verbs is a little hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, es que no tenemos una lista. Yes. De, 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 de past participles. Yo, yo sí tengo una, pero es como bien larga. Es que, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, lo, que, lo que yo hubiera hecho así como un ejercicio de esto es tener ya una lista de vocabulario para que ustedes ahorita no estén, no estén como luchando, encontrando el vocabulario. Okay. Pero eh, la plataforma pues, no nos dio eso. Creo que sí nos dio al principio. No sé si acuerdan el video que había unos... Al principio de la presentación que yo puse también había como, por, eh, por ejemplo, let me see if I can find it for you. Ya, yeah, había una, una lista de vocabulario que, por, ej por ejemplo, hours, education, work, Right, it was a list of, of nouns that you can use. 
Ok. Si quieren, usen lo mismo que están allí en el grupo, en la página que... En la foto que puse en el grupo de WhatsApp. Simplemente cambio. Ok. So you can use the same ones. Usa, pueden usar eh, paid, earned, the same. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Well... Let's continue or not. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let me see the examples that you have. Let me see. A uh, teacher is more sociable. Very good. Uh, a teacher works in a better environment than a police officer. Okay. Very good. A uh, comparative verbs. A teacher yells as much as a police officer. Very good. A comparative part mm -hmm. past participle. A teacher is as admirable. Ad admired, admired, okay, as a police officer. All right, very good, very good. Now, eh, ¿cuál era el más difícil para ustedes? Which was the most difficult? Uh, el past participle in the verb, comparative yes. verb. Comparative verb. <laughs> yes, yes. Honestly, I, uh, honestly, in English, we speak in English, we only use adjectives, okay? Yeah. Eh, and nouns, adjectives and nouns are the ones that you're going to use the most. Okay, but very good, very good, excellent job, okay? Uh, let me see, uh, can you copy it there and send it to WhatsApp? Corten, hagan una, un corte ahí, así como un picture cut, como yo hago, y mándela al grupo de WhatsApp, las, las de ustedes, está muy buena, lo voy a compartir. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Businessmen, uh, looks more clean than a mechanic. What do you think? Yes, very good. That's good. Like a that's a verb. You're using a verb there, mm -hmm. and noun. También. But we're we're trying to use the uh, the past participle. It looks more cleaned. Uh, clean. If you put an ed, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that would be the last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that was the last one. Or clean than a a businessman. A businessman looks more clean than a mechanic. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so I hope you had a chance to practice. Okay, I know it's uh, very difficult when, when it comes to using the past participles and the verbs. I understand that it's difficult. Uh, honestly, in English, uh, the one that we use the most, porque es más fácil comunicarse, is the adjectives. Okay, that's the one that we're going to use the most in English. Okay. All right, uh, I have here, uh, let me share my computer because I have one group that sent me their answers. I think they were really good. Aquí está eh, las respuestas de, de un grupo. Okay, so let me read them to you. Uh, comparative adjectives, they say, a teacher is more sociable than a police officer. Yes, I think so too, right? Uh, opinions, these are opinions. Comparative nouns. A teacher works in a better environment than a police officer, okay? This one es casi como un verb. Esta encajaría en, en la otra, pero está bien. A comparative verb, a teacher yells. Yes, this is a verb. Yells as much as a police officer. Very good. Compared to past participle, a teacher is as admired. What is admired? 
admirable, right? When you look up to someone. A teacher is as admired as a police officer. Or they put another example here, a police officer is not paid as a teacher. Very good, excellent. Okay, this is uh, an example of one of the groups here. Okay, very good. Uh, questions? Preguntas for this exercise? Okay, very good. So with that, eh, viendo el video 2.7, después del 2.7 está Knowledge Check. ¿Quién ha hecho el Knowledge Check? 2.8, ¿ya lo hicieron? ¿Todavía no? Ok, yeah. no. All right. We can, no, teacher. We can do it together, no problem. Okay. Let's do it together. Y, y si necesitan, pues yo les comparto las respuestas. Ok, number one. Uh, it says, instructions, complete the sentence using the words in the parentheses. Example, an interior decorator blank, a fashion designer. And they're giving you the word here, paid. So vamos a usar el past participle, right? We're going to use the past participle for this example. Okay, let's look at number one. A microphone abierto, si alguien quiere intentar. A secret agent, blank, a police officer. Travels more, a police officer travels more than a police officer or travels than, which is correct? Travels more than. Travels more than, very good. Number two, a air traffic controller's job, blank, a TV director's job is less artistic than less artistic than or is less artistic it's less artistic than okay let's read it an air traffic controller's job is less artistic than a tv director's job very good number three landscapers blank veterinarian veterinarians landscapers less education then or landscapers have less education or have less have education, less education, education then. then yes very good good job so this is a noun este, este es un comparativo con noun uh, number four working as a comedian blank a public speaker working as a comedian is harder being harder than being is harder than being. It's harder than being. Harder than being. Harder than being. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. So, eh, okay. Ya vamos a hacer. Ya ustedes me van a decir cuál, cuál, cuál usaron en cada una, for example. Nouns, adjectives, verbs, past participles. Number five. Aerobics instructors, blank, soccer coaches. Earn less than earn less earn less earn then less than perdón which one is the correct? first one the first one earn less than earn less than okay very good all right so number if you look here in the, in the number one we have what adjective noun or, verb. Verb, or past A participle verb. verb what is the verb travels travels and and if you see here, tiene una S. Why? Because it's in the remember simple present. Third person. Third person singular. Very good. Number two, an air traffic controller's job is less artistic. What is this? Uh, adjective. An adjective. Artistic. Yes, adjective. Mm -hmm. Adjective. Very good. Number three. A landscaper blank have less education than veterinary. Which one do you think? A education noun. Very good. Very good. So, verb, adjective, 
noun. Very good. Okay. Number four, working as a comedian is harder. What is harder? Adjective. Adjective. Mm, Adjective. No. Let me see. Hard. Harder. It can be an adjective or a verb. Oh. Actually, yo creo que son dos. Algunas palabras en el inglés son, son intercambiables. Pueden ser un adjective and a verb. All right, number five. Aerobic instructors earn. A verb. Verb, a verb. A verb right? Verb. Yeah. Yes, very good. Let's see. Submit. Let's show the answers. Let's try. Uh, yeah, 34, 34. You guys are good. Excellent job. Okay? So, eh, pueden copiar las... Si no la han hecho, lo pueden copiar. No hay problema. Okay? All right. Questions? Questions for this exercise? No? Okay, very good. So... I want to do a, a, an activity with you, eh, porque tenemos 10 minutos, y cambiar un poquito el tema de la gramática. Let's, let's change gears. Let's go to another, uh, another topic, okay? And I want to do a pronunciation topic for you. Pron uh, pronunciation topic. Uh, something that we can do that I think uh, at your level, eh, le, les, les va a servir mucho, okay? Now, uh, pronunciation in English, we have the TH sound, okay? Now, the TH sound in Spanish, no existe. It doesn't exist. For example, uh, when you say think, the word think, okay? Eh, este TH, este sonido de TH, no existe en el español, okay? So sometimes we can confuse them and then we can uh, we can have a problem with pronunciation. So uh, let me let me first tell you. TH sound hay dos. Hay uno que es voice and one that is voiceless. Okay. I'm going to explain in a little bit. Okay. A voice means this. Prácticamente lo que quiere decir es esto. Eh, it is, el sonido viene del uh, throat. Do you know what throat is? Yeah. The throat. ¿Qué es throat? Garganta. 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 <laughs> yes, pero para ser más específico, vibrations. Okay. El sonido viene de la vibración de las cuerdas vocales. Ok. Ya, ya lo vamos a practicar. Now, voice significa air. Ok. Viene del aire. It's only air that I'm using. Ok. So, let me give you some examples. Ok. These. The TH sound here, this TH sound, suena, que, quiero que ahí donde están ustedes, toquese la garganta, um, pongan dos deditos ahí, donde están las cuerdas vocales, y digan these, these, sí. These. These. Okay. Do you see the, the vibration? Pueden sentir la vibración? These. Do you see it? Yes. These. Okay, very good. So that TH sound is these. Okay? These. Now, let's do an example with TH sound. TH sound that is only air. Si alguien se puede poner allí en mute, porque hay mucho ruido allí en su alrededor. Ok, gracias. Ok, the TH sound, the next TH sound is air. Ok, now, pónganse los mismos deditos ahí, en la garganta, en las cuerdas vocales. And say, thanks. 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 
Only air. Tent. Pueden notar que las cuerdas vocales no se mueven. Thanks. Another example. Yeah. Think. 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 Okay. Do you see? Las cuerdas vocales no se mueven. Think. Okay. 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 Uh, another example. Let me see. Uh, month. En la palabra month. Month. Do you see the TH sound here? Only air. Month. Okay. Month. 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 Entonces tienes que terminar así con... Okay. Very Month. good. Uh, another example here with the voice. For example, say... Uh, uh, throne. Throne. Ah, no, no, perdón. This one... No, este va aquí. Throne. Do you see? TH. Okay. Now, another another example here where you can see this is, for example, la palabra the. 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 Okay. You can see an example of that. So, let me see. Uh, I want to share my computer. Uh, TH. Voice. Voice. voice and voiceless examples. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, let's look at this example that we have here. I think. Uh, for example, have you entrado lengua aquí? Let's go back for now. Okay. Here. Eh, también se conoce como soft and, and hard, but really I like to say voice and voiceless. For example, let's let's practice. Thing. Thing. Think. 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 Like thank you. Think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Todas estas son aire, ¿verdad? Only air. Thesis. 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 Okay. Thesis. Thermal. Thermal. Think. Think. Thought. Thought. Throne. 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 Thin. Delgado. Thin. Thin. And then these have the TH sound at the end. Bath. That. Bath. Bath. Moth. 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 TH. Tiene que ser una, un sonido donde eh, no una T, sino una Moth. Moth. Math. Math. Both. Both. Okay. Now let's practice the TH sound with vibrations, the vibración. That. That. This. This. These. These. Then. Then. There. There. Though. Though. Them. Them. There. There. Then. Then. Okay, very good. So, um, going back, going back, going back. Ya vamos a, casi vamos a terminar. Okay? So, you practice the TH. Voice, voiceless. Okay? Very good. Pero hay uno más. Okay? Uh, let, me, let me show you the TH sound plus the R sound. Okay? Y esto, esto les cuesta alguno. For example, eh, one, two, what is this number? Three. 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 Entonces ahí uso 
el sonido del TH voiceless, TH solo aire, and the R. Three. One, two, three. Cuenten hasta el tres. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ok. Si, si sale, si sale esta palabra, tree, está mal. Porque tree es un árbol. <laughs> right? You want to say? Three. ese sonido? Plus the R. Three. 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 Okay. Otra palabra con el TH, la, la, la unión de TH y R. Strong. Strong. Okay. Strong. Strong. What else? Uh, true. 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 Como terminal. True. True. Uh, also, tirar, cuando tú tiras algo, tirar una pelota, throw, throw, ok, repeat, three, three. no, three. no, three, three, no, three, three. Ya, ya, les voy a, ya les voy a enseñar la posición de la lengua y los labios, pero ahorita como no me pueden ver, eh, ya se lo voy a enseñar, three, repeat, three, three. Three. Throne. 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 Through. 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 Throw. 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 Okay, very good. So, ¿qué aprendieron? Pronunciation. The TH vibration, the TH voice, the TH voiceless, and the THR. Okay? Estos sonidos no existen en el español. Okay? Son algo exclusivamente para el inglés. Okay? Very good. So, let me share my computer with you. Look at me. Look at me. Okay? Ya vamos a terminar. Look at me. Now, this is the, the, the pronunciation, the difference. Okay? TH, only air. Look at, look at my lips. Look at my tongue. Three. Three. Thin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Ustedes ven cómo, cómo mi lengua sale, ¿verdad? Estoy como mordiéndome la lengua, pero bien suavecito, no es que me voy a morder la lengua, sino que cierro los, los, los dientes, mi lengua queda afuera. Thank you. Thank you. Y voy a expulsar aire. I'm using air. Thanks. Thin. Month. Bath. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Ahí está el uso. El TH voiceless. TH with the vibration. Es casi igual, solamente que involucro las cuerdas vocales. These. Those. The, the, their, them. them, very good, and then finally THR, THR, eh, en este tengo que usar el aire más la R, three, 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 Mm. Mm. Eric, repeat. Three. Three. Y quiero que, que ponga más TH con aire antes. Three. Three. Casi, casi. All right. Count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, very good. Throw. 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 Through. Throw. Through. Throne. Throw. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. 
pronunciation, something important, okay, in English. So, digamos que I have good grammar, I have good vocabulary, and I have good thought organization. Después, ¿qué necesito? I need to have music in, in the language. I need to have good pronunciation, good intonation. I need to have good rhythm, okay? Very good. Okay, questions. Questions? ¿Dónde están en la plataforma? La mayoría. ¿Alguien todavía está en la sección 1? No? No. Ah, 2.7, ok. Very good. Eh, algunos en las tres, ok. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to do section 3. I want to do section 3 tomorrow. Ok, so deberían ya estar terminando la, la dos, ¿verdad? Okay. ok. Ok, very good. I'll see you tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to do section three. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Thank all right. You. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.